Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, November 30th, 2022 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today's diary is about LinkedIn bots. Well, um, at least I think uh, it's bots what we are dealing with, but sometimes, and that's in part what it's about, it's hard to tell if you're dealing with actual people, with uh, bots or something in between, which are often actual people who basically just uh, copy paste uh, profiles. What makes it sort of interesting is that uh, these uh, profiles, bots, individuals, happen uh, to try to connect uh, to uh, people in uh, the information security industry. So uh, in my opinion, it's likely an attempt uh, to map out uh, different relationships. Uh, Likely the profiles of uh, these individuals are not really anything that's related to information security. Anybody that you would think would sort of reach out uh, to a larger number of information security professionals. This is also still a very much sort of work in progress. So if you run into any connection requests that do look suspicious, I would be interested in hearing about it and uh, figuring out you know, if this is sort of a more coordinated effort or uh, really just sort of some spammer uh, collecting uh, connections here in order uh, to then eventually advertise some kind of service. As usual, uh, the rule of thumb applies. If you post something on social media, assume it to be public. Uh, social media are not built and not meant uh, to exchange information with sort of trusted groups. Uh, it's really medium to very effectively uh, reach a large number of uh, readers, uh, users, customers, and uh, use it like that. Uh, Don't use it sort of as a replacement for uh, some kind of instant messaging or uh, other uh, more direct uh, channel. And this, of course, is not just a LinkedIn issue that applies uh, to all of uh, these uh, social media sites. And CISA added CVE 2021-35587. That's an Oracle Fusion middleware vulnerability to its known exploited vulnerabilities list. CVE 2021, so uh, this is last year's uh, vulnerability, but uh, still worth the mention uh, because we have seen products like this uh, being exploited in uh, more targeted attacks in the past. And uh, Oracle Fusion Middleware, that's sort of one of those products that's often overlooked and often not all that easy uh, to patch. The vulnerability does allow unauthenticated attackers uh, with network access to basically send an HTTP request to then take over the access manager product. And the way I see this uh, CISA exploited vulnerabilities catalog is that once a product is in that catalog and you do find this vulnerability still in your network, assume uh, this particular system is already compromised. And we got a news from security company Cypherma that uh, CVE 2022-34721, this is a Windows Internet Key Exchange, so Ike remote code execution vulnerability is actively being exploited in the wild apparently uh, since uh, September. Originally, the fix for this vulnerability was released as part of the September uh, patch uh, Tuesday. Cypherma is making a proof of concept exploit uh, written in Scapy available as well. And uh, this vulnerability only affects you, first of all, if you're using Ike and then have the auth IP IPsec key module running uh, in your system. And of course, the system still has to be vulnerable. So no patch applied since September. So overall, not a very common configuration. Uh, The attack would uh, be coming in on port 500, the standard uh, Ike port. That's something that you can monitor for uh, to see if you see any odd traffic on that port. And Anchor's Eufy cameras, at least that's how I think you pronounce uh, this uh, brand name, uh, 
is uploading data to the cloud even if the user configures the camera not to do so actually one of the selling points of these cameras is that they do store images on premise without sort of any cost or privacy issues involved in having them stored in the cloud but it appears according to security consultant paul moore that data at least thumbnails and some logs and such are still uploaded to AWS and they also were available uh, via a website. Now you had to log in uh, to the website, but then it was just a simple URL to actually access uh, the particular image. I don't have one of these cameras, so can't really uh, see how this exactly all works. There is a video by Paul showing uh, how he was able to demonstrate this. He contacted Anchor and uh, they stated that, yes, uh, this is indeed happening. They removed the access to these images via the web page, but apparently uh, they're still stored within AWS. So something you may want to be aware of if you're using one of these uh, products. Also, watch out for any updates from Anchor slash Eufy. Well, and uh, sort of the holiday season is starting actually in a couple days. We have December 1st, just as a quick advance notice uh, we do have again a sans holiday hack challenge uh, coming so uh, sign up you can sign up for it now and then get a notification as soon as it's uh, being made live and well uh, today's also tuesday so i made another packet tuesday video live packettuesday.com will always get you to the latest uh, videos that's it for today thanks for listening and Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.